everyone, I am here in my kitchen, as always, and I am gonna make an omelette out of nothing to do with eggs. So I really love it, I'm gonna make it out of chickpea flour, which is full of protein, and I just really didn't know how much you could do with chickpeas. Start with the mushrooms. That was an onion. Okay, I've cut some mushrooms, wow. And now a little bit of onion. Not too much, just a little bit. I think I might cry as well in a minute because of the onions, it's definitely the onions. <laughs> so apparently this stops the crying. Love it. <laughs> okay, no tears. Oh, I've also got some leftover red pepper, but you can put anything in. Spinach is also really good. Oh, it's making me cry now. So I'm just frying the, uh, the onions and the mushrooms now. So I've done some amazing things, like just traveling, I think. I'd like to do more traveling. I was, I've been lucky enough to, you know, go to Japan with my music, Brazil, Australia, countries I never would have gone to if this wasn't my job. I'd like to do some more traveling, I think. Maybe a bit more South America as well. I'm gonna add in some peppers now. We're gonna eat them all first. I think this is a good time to plug my buddies. So, one of my best friends, Hannah Grace, listen to her, <laughs> is all I can say. I'm not just saying this because she's my friend, but she literally has the best voice I've ever heard. Hudson Taylor, of course, my favorite duo. Do you know, I actually discovered this guy the other day. I don't think I can pronounce his name. His, his first name's either Leaf or Life. <laughs> I haven't worked that out yet. Volabeck, I think. Let's go with Leaf Volabeck. I found him on like Spotify, like Discovery, that thing they have on the internet, and I'm obsessed. It's really chilled. Do you know, there's um, a band I discovered recently. I'm sure they've been around for ages, but I love Easy Life. I heard um, their song on Radio 2. It was Joe Wiley, who I love. Her show is my favorite show, and I'm always discovering music, listening to her. And she had this as her infatuation of the week, a song called House Plants, which I think is amazing. There's a lyric in it. Something like, I have cold and the caterpillar left over for my birthday, and I just spoke to me. <laughs> that one lyric. It's tofu time. It depends how eggy you want it. This will kind of become like the mm, shit, broken up, it kind of looks like egg. So I crumble it in, have some turmeric here. I'm gonna put a little bit of it on it. That just kind of makes it go yellow, delicious. And then this is nutritional yeast. If you're a vegan person, this is a staple. It makes things taste kind of cheesy and I think they kind of taste like egg yolk. And I've got some garlic and onion powder. Again, I'm gonna put half of it in this. And this is the other magic ingredient. I think this is pronounced Kalanamak. I think it's a really sulfuric salt that tastes kind of eggy. It's actually not very nice when you smell it when it first goes in, but it works. It makes it a bit more real. Not too much, because I'm gonna put it in the chickpea batter as well. And maybe just smash the pepper in there, because I can. And then the teeniest bit of water. Ah. And then just do a mix mix. This is my favorite weekend breakfast. Basically, when I roll out of bed at whatever time. I actually call it my waking up slow mornings, <laughs> where I basically, I will be usually making this in my pajamas. It looks like sick, but it is nice, I promise. <laughs> so that's there now, leave it. Chickpea flour. The most wonderful thing. You can do so much with this. Um, sometimes I like to make just this, what I'm about to do now, but with um, without this. And they can kind of be like savory pancakes, I guess. And it's full of protein, because literally every question I get, where'd you get your protein from? Here, this is where I get my protein from. I'm gonna put the rest of the turmeric in there. Turmeric, turmeric? I think it's turmeric, isn't it? Garlic and onion powder. Baking powder, baking soda. Vegan yogurt. I think you could probably use like, oat milk or something as well, but I like to use this. More nutritional yeast, I call it nooch. My dad calls it fish food. He always comes in and like, all right, garbage, got any of that fish food again? And now we whisk, this is just a bit of water. And you just mix it, it's really easy. You basically just gotta get the lumps out. But again, the thing I love about veganism, apart from eating, is that like, there's nothing I can really poison anyone with. Don't have to worry about eggs or anything, so it's all very good. Oh, and a bit more of this. A bit more of the eggy salt, because you're making fake eggs. Boosh. So I'm gonna heat up the oil, and then you scoop a little bit on, and you want it to be like a thin spread with gaps. And these tofu bits will become little chunks of egg. And then we go in with this. You want it thick enough to be like solid, but not so thick it doesn't cook. So, oh, 
always make that mistake. You want a good edge. You kind of want the edges to be solid so that you can flip it over. You want to wait until like it starts to cook a little bit. It might still be a bit runny on top, but also you don't want it to burn underneath, which I might be doing. But I just use my spatula to go around the edge, and when it feels like it's all one piece, I will then attempt to flip it. If you can't flip, like me, try and get it onto a plate in one piece. And then, this is like my trick. One, two, brilliant. <laughs> I mean, I would just eat it like that. I like to put sweet chilli sauce on it. But if you're gonna make it look fancy, cream cheese, vegan cream cheese is delicious, and some chives. This is done, slide her on. Like I said, it doesn't look amazing, but it is delicious. Cream cheese, smash it on. Some chives. Breakfast, yay. If you wanna make this, the recipe is in the box below. And I would also love if you sent me your pictures of your breakfast as well.